Today, Saturday, November 7, 2020, the Ministry of Health received confirmation of 13 new cases of COVID-19. This brings the total number of cases diagnosed in country to 123. Case number 111 is an 80-year-old male from Sufre district. Case number 112 is a 60-year-old male from the Castries district. Case number 113 is a 53-year-old female from the Grosele district. Case number 114 is a 29-year-old female from the Viewfort district. Case number 115 is a 23-year-old female from the Viewfort district. Case number 116 is a 49-year-old female from the Schwazel district. Case number 117 is a 20-year-old female from the Miku district. Case number 118 is a 66-year-old male from the Castries district. Case number 119 is a 36-year-old male from the Castries district. Case number 120 is a 78-year-old male from the Groselet district. Case number 121 is a 33-year-old male from the Castries district. Case number 122 is a 38-year-old male from the Castries district. Case number 123 is a 44-year-old male from the Grosile district. All of the cases following testing for COVID-19 were in quarantine awaiting their results. Five of these cases were identified through the contact tracing process and epidemiological links have been established for these five cases. Case number 112 is linked to case number 74. Case number 114 is linked to case number 68. Cases 118 and 119 are linked to case number 53. Case number 121 is linked to case number 95. As per protocol, arrangements have been made for the transfer of these individuals into care. The new cases now bring the number of active cases currently in country to 91. All cases remain stable and there are no cases requiring critical care. Households, communities, and workplaces are central to the national effort to contain the spread of COVID-19. By maintaining adherence to the guidelines for infection prevention and control in all of these various spheres, it is possible to, for the transmission of the virus to be interrupted. It is possible by consistently maintaining the measures, even when in the most familiar and comfortable of places, the risk of exposure to the virus will be reduced. We ask all to minimize their movements, avoid social gatherings and other activities which lend themselves to a greater risk of exposure to the virus. Continue daily practicing of the guidelines which include wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use of an alcohol-based hand sanitizer when hand washing is not possible. Wear a mask every time you are in public. Maintain a separation of six feet from others which is about two arms length apart. Seek medical care if experiencing respiratory symptoms which include fever, cough, shortness of breath, or sore throat. Avoid contact with people who are experiencing respiratory symptoms. All of these practices when done together will significantly reduce the likelihood of being infected with the virus. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates as new information becomes available.